In this video, I am going to explain how to perform sensitivity analysis, especially for discrete multi criteria decision making methods. So, coming to the introduction, so basically, every multi criteria decision making method. It is a basically a tool for reducing the subjectivity in decision making by creating a series of filter selection and helping to make choices among the complex alternatives. So different MCDM methods have different mathematical procedures which makes the same problem yield different solutions. So the selection of alternatives depend upon the MCDM method where the researchers apply. However, the quality of the decision method is called as a sensitivity analysis and therefore it is not having any proper consensus. So there are various uh, ways for getting this a sensitivity analysis. For example, in the case of uh, multi-objective programming or linear programming, there are multiple ways. So here I am trying to focus especially on the discrete MCDM method. And coming to why we have to apply this sensitivity analysis is it is one of the most important in optimization as well as in the decision making. So when the decision maker is trying to think of the optimal solution, the optimal value has to vary according to the changes in the parameters. Suppose our input parameters are there. So depending upon our input parameters changes, the optimization and decision making is going to be changed. So further, this sensitivity analysis is especially used to examine the robustness and stability of the ranking. So to what level our ranking is correct with respect to weights. So in this video, I will particularly focus on weightages criteria when weightages are going to have an impact on the multi criteria decision making problem, how we can able to perform the sensitivity analysis. Apart from that one, this analysis is also going to deal with the improving the output of a specific model, whether it may be a quantitatively or qualitatively. So this kind tries to provide the sensitivity -ness where the uncertainty in the input values are going to be occur. So uncertainty in the sense, for example, in the case of a material selection problem, there may be multiple concerns of materials. So let me take the same case study here where here our objective is to select a material for a cryogenic tank application where it consisting of toughness index, yield strength, Young's modulus as the beneficial attributes, density, thermal expansion coefficient, thermal conductivity and specific method as a non-beneficial attributes. The same problem I have applied already for ARAS method, additive ratio assessment method so that will be provided in the cards which is in the above. So you can go through that excel file and try to vary the weights and depending upon the weights how our problem is going to be vary, we can able to understand. So let us take the excel sheet right now. So this is the excel sheet where our decision matrix is there. Okay, I have collected uh, this decision matrix from the reference which I have cited. And here they have estimated the weights by using modified digital logic methods. And here they are getting the rankings like this. And by this thing, I can able to get that alternative 3 is having the best one. Like SS301FH is the best alternative. Now what I am doing is, I am taking a copy of this Excel sheet into a, into a separate Excel sheet. And I will try to vary the weights. So now the weights has been equalized. So in the previous method, the weights are for toughness index, it is 28%. For specific kit, it is only 5%. So this weights has been estimated by using modified digital logic method. And here I am considering equal weights. Equal weights in the sense, whatever the criteria is there, the total criteria divided by how many number of attributes I am having. I am having 7 attributes. So if I take 7 attributes, I will get 0.14 per 14. That is 14 percentage for each of the value. So if I take equal weightage also, again, alternative 3 is also ranking the best but there was a slight change in the ranking i will i will show how the rankings are going to be very at the last 
and if i take one more case the third case is 50 percentage to the beneficial attributes and 50 percentage to the non beneficial attributes so 50 percentage in the sense uh, 0 0.5 divided by 3 non beneficial 50 percent means 0 0.5 divided by 4 why because i am having four attributes so if i have divided the weights like this then the rankings are going to be changed like this again the same thing i am copying the sheet and i am trying to modify as beneficial i am giving 60 percentage weightage that is each beneficial index will have 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 Whereas non-beneficial I am giving 40 percentage that is each non-beneficial will have 10 percentage 10 percentage like this or you can go like you can go, go giving for 0 0.3 percentage to the toughness index 0 0.1 0 0.1 to the ink smallest that depends upon the decision maker capability okay here just to enhance our sensitivity analysis I am trying to take such many alternatives and next case is fifth case is i am going to take 70 percent to the beneficial and 30 percent to the non-beneficial so like 0 0.7 divided by 3 and 0 0.3 divided by 4 because it is four non-beneficial attributes so like this i have done some rankings also let me summarize all this one in a single uh, uh, slide so case one modified digital logic method these are the weightages and this is the ranking and ka in the a or as method that is additive ratio assessment method the utility degree is the final so based upon the utility utility degree whichever is having the highest value that will be selected as the best alternative so here based upon this one i am getting uh, this point as a better alternative like ss301 fh followed by titanium 6 aluminum followed by inconel like the so and so we are getting if i go for second case that is equal weightages these are the equal weights and this is the ranking i am getting but you can observe there is a slight change in the ranking and these are the alternatives but here also i am getting ss301 fh as the best material if i go for the case study 3 that is 50 percent beneficial attributes and 50 percent is non-beneficial that weightage is for 50 percent beneficial so the weights are like this the rankings are like this again here the best alternative is ss301 fh again in the fourth case 60 percent beneficial and 40 percent non-beneficial and again here also i am getting the third alternative is a best alternative that is ss301 fh and again fifth case it is a 70 percent beneficial and 30 percent non-beneficial you can see the weights like this because these things and all i have uh, shown in the excel sheet that's why i am taking the values itself again here also the ultimate uh, point is this fifth fifth material uh, third material as a best material let me summarize all these things uh, in a single structure like this case one case two case three case four and case five so now you can observe that almost all weightage varies i am getting ss301 fh as a best alternative followed by titanium six aluminum four vanadium Okay, if the decision maker is intended to choose the best material, he can able to choose one or two. But if he is going for the second, third alternative. So third alternative means he has to be get confused. So whether he has to choose Inconel or SS301H. If you think like that Inconel is having only 20%, but SS310H is having 80% of the weightage for selectioning of third, third uh, ranking. So these are the things which I have given based upon the rankings which I have shown in the previous slides. So depending upon the rankings, these things are all going to be changed. So now the decision maker thinks that if he is not interested to choose the first two materials, then he has to go for the third material selection. He may choose SS310 3AH as the best material. Okay. So it, it all depends upon the decision maker. So this is the reason why we have to perform the sensitivity analysis. If you like the video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.